Welcome back guys, this is Correcty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Amtrak ALC-42 Siemens Charger. Now this is a diesel locomotive, it's painted in the Phase 7 livery, which I believe is the newest livery, the up-to-date one. With the dark blue in the front, which looks really dark, so I'm pairing it up with this polished blackstone. Because sometimes it looks like this, but it's like tinted blue. So the rest is like blue concrete, while the secondary blue is lapis lazuli. So yeah, you know, in the past I've done a tutorial on the Zemus Charger, but I did change up the design a little bit for this one. Especially like if you look at the trucks. I made the wheels more closer together. And uh, there's the Amtrak logo. This part is kind of difficult to make because in real life this door is like a half a block this way, but I can't do it. So I came up with that compromise. And yeah, we have right in the front, windshield wipers. And here's a look at the detail on top. Just a bunch of vents and panels. Inside over here, there's actually like this great system, but I just left it like this just to keep it uh, simple. Because if I use glass, then it would only be in this part, which would be weird. And here's how it looks like in the rear. Take a look at that and both sides are different. And this video is actually commissioned by Trainmaster3985. So this is part of his last commission. He also commissioned the Venture Coasters, but for some reason he wants it in phase seven. So we're gonna build it like that. Although they're not really in service yet. Um, eventually they will be. But yeah, without his support, this video would not be possible. So go thank him. Uh, but anyways, let's get started. So first off, let's grab some materials. We're going to take out a dark oak slab, nether brick fence, gray concrete, mangrove fence gate, stone slab, a polished blackstone stairs, polished blackstone bricks, dark oak fence gate, and I guess uh, deep slate, brick slab, all right. So first off, so we're gonna add in stone slabs in the middle, three blocks wide, just like that. And then uh, right on top, we want a dark oak slab, nether brick fence on either side, mango fence gates on either side of that, and open them up. Then we'll add in uh, gray concrete, two blocks wide here. Another two right there. And then there's going to be this mangrove trap door here in the middle. And then we'll add a pole, I mean, deep slate brick stairs upside down, three blocks wide behind this. And then slabs on the sides. Then next we'll add a polished blackstone bricks, just three blocks wide in the middle of this. And I guess we'll make it two blocks long, so two by three. To the side, we'll add in deep slate brick stairs upside down, both sides. Then on top of this, we'll add a blue concrete. Make a two by two here, and then one sticking out in the front like a panhandle. Do the same thing on the other side. And then across the bottom, polished blackstone stairs, five blocks wide. And then in the middle, we'll add in polished blackstone brick slabs, three blocks wide. And there's going to be a smooth quartz block here in the middle with blue concrete on either side of that. Then we'll add in, um, well, we'll take some more blocks, red carpet, a lever, birch fence gate, stone button, and I guess a red concrete. And also um, black glass. So we're going to add in three blocks wide black glass here. Red carpets in the corners, nether brick fence, two on a diagonal in the middle, a lever, two of them, like that for the windshield wipers, red concrete on the side of that, and then black glass block behind that. And then we'll uh, take a polished black stone brick slab, just add a three blocks wide. I believe, yeah, just like that. We have a polished blackstone pressure plate here in the middle. All right, then <clears throat> we're going to grab. Oh, yeah, we need to add in our stone buttons for the headlights, I guess. And the birch fence here in the middle. Open that up. OK, now let's grab some more materials. We're going to take out uh, iron bars. 
birch button and a cherry button. So go here. We're going to add yet another two by two blue concrete, both sides. Then an iron bar here to the side, cherry button underneath it, birch button in front of that. Other side, we'll add an iron bar here. And then do the same thing, cherry button and then birch button. Soon they're going to come out with this even whiter button. Can't, I'm looking forward to that. So if you have that whiter version in the newer Minecraft, you can use that for the birch. It's, that's, it's supposed to be white, but we're not there yet. Anyways, next we'll take a, a black concrete and we're going to add it three blocks wide here and go diagonally up another three blocks wide there. And then um, two blue concretes on the inside of this. Well, why can't I place it like that? Other side, same thing. And then next up, there's going to be this uh, polished blackstone brick wall inside here, both sides, and then birch fence gate three blocks tall. Open them all up, just like this. Then there's going to be smooth quartz slab. I'm going to add a three on a diagonal and then one extra one on top. And do the same thing on the other side. Three on a diagonal and then one extra one at the top. A red concrete inside here. And we'll take out um, mangrove slab, mangrove stairs, daylight detector, move stone slab, red nether brick slab, polished black stone slab. So first off, mangrove slab here in the front corner and then mangrove stairs right behind it, both sides. Then a row of daylight detectors, make them all blue. And then mangrove slab, Red nether brick slab and then two mangrove slabs. Same thing over here. Then we'll uh, add a smooth stone slab, polished black stone slab, and uh, inside we need a blue concrete. It gets three blocks long. One, two, three. One, two, three. And also add it in the middle here. <clears throat> Daylight detector, make it uh, blue. That's really supposed to be the horn. And then polished blackstone slab, just three blocks wide here, the two blocks long in the middle, the two smooth stone slab, and another one here, and two over here, and then three smooth, uh, polished blackstone slabs on the sides. Smooth stone slab here, and then three smooth stone slabs on the edges. And I guess we're gonna make a T shape using polished blackstone slabs. Then we'll need our andesite slab. This is going to be five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, three blocks wide, just like this. All right, next up, we'll add a polish blackstone slab, this part. And we're gonna make it two by two on this side. Then one over here, the andesite slab, then two by three polished blackstone slab. The other side is going to be these two tough slabs. Then two by two here, and then I guess two by three here. And then a row of warped slabs. That's going to be our back. Next up, we'll add a lapis lazuli. And we'll add in uh, two blocks wide over here. And I think this goes almost all the way down. So four blocks tall. So one, two, three, four. Just like that. An additional layer here. And then uh, the other side, I think, we'll do is pretty much the same thing, just two by four. And then corner the edges like that. And then over here, there's going to be um, polish, diorite slab, warp sign, warp slab, uh, smooth quartz slab mangrove slab if we can even grab it I don't know if we can grab it uh, so we'll add a polished direct slab here warp sign in front of that and then it's gonna be a warp slab at the bottom then smooth quartz slab and there's going to be lapis behind this two blocks tall like this 
and we need our mangrove slab right inside here. The next, let's grab uh, end rods, um, birch button, iron bars, uh, dark oak trap door. So first left, dark oak trap doors in the bottom corners. And then iron trap, I mean iron bars on top of that. And then we'll need an end rod sticking inwards like this. Then birch buttons in the front or the top corners like this. Next up, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate, three blocks wide. Open them all up. And then gray carpet on top of that, three blocks wide. Then we'll take out a gray concrete, make it three blocks wide. And then deep slate brick stairs in the corners, upside down. And dark oak trap doors underneath. Then we'll add in a um, deep slate brick slab, three blocks wide. And then another brick fence, two blocks like that. And then dark oak slab in the middle. Dark oak fence gate at the bottom here. And then fence gates on the sides of that. Open them both up. Cool. Then inside is going to be black concrete. Two blocks tall here. And then on this side, there's going to be a 2x2 two two, lapis lazuli. And at the bottom, I guess this is six blocks long. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then make it four blocks tall over here. And then in this gap, we're going to add in uh, lapis lazuli indented with smooth port stairs. Just make a backwards L and upside down backwards L like that. It's going to be our numbers. Next up, we'll add in. Um, Warped stairs. And I'm going to make a two by two, kind of like a square shape here. Like that. And then slabs at top of the bottom, and then stairs right after that. Just like this. And we'll add in um, deep slate tiles, two by two here. And then polish deep slate two by two. And then next up, we'll add in deep slate tiles. Um, make it four, four blocks long. One, two, three, four like this. Then two on the outside here. Another two on the outside here. And the bottom part, I guess, we'll make it four blocks tall. So one, two, three, four like this. All right, and then make it four blocks wide at the bottom. I like this shape. And we want to replicate this shape onto the other side. So whatever we did over here. All right, so whatever we did here, four blocks wide, four blocks tall, make it, it's like a giant I beam basically. And then the outside parts, this one comes out, do like that, do like that. And then we'll add in warp stairs and warp slabs. So warp slabs gonna be in the middle, it's two blocks wide here. And then upside down stairs like this. And we want to make like an H in the middle with the stairs. That and the bottom we just gotta make it the stairs uh, right side up. Just like that. And that's gonna be our X. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, so. Uh, warp slabs here, top and bottom, and stairs in the corners. Trying to make that X and the H in the middle, like that. And next up, we'll add in a lapis lazuli. Uh, four blocks tall, one, two, three, four, and then two deep slate tiles. Block a lapis lazuli here, and then two by three lapis lazuli. And lapis lazuli on the inside part, two blocks long like that. And the other side, uh, I think it's a similar thing. So, you know, four blocks tall here. And I think it's the exact same thing actually. So I'm just gonna, you know, rebuild whatever we did on that side to this side, indent at the top, All right? So after that, there's going to be this uh, mangrove button and uh, birch button. So mangrove button here, and then birch button in front of that. Mangrove button and the birch button. 
And we'll add in a uh, blue concrete inside here. And blue concrete on the outside part like that. All right, next up, we'll add a uh, lapis lazuli. We're gonna add an additional two by three here. And then one at the bottom. And make an indent for this one here and another one up like that. And then we'll add in another one indented here with blue concrete in front of that. Another blue concrete in front of this and this one. So um, after we do that, I think the other side, again, it's the same thing. So I guess, what is it? Like a two by three here we're at the bottom and then make an indent here with blue concretes in the front of that. And another indent here. Blue concrete in front of that. And now we need our uh, smooth quartz slab and stairs. So there's going to be uh, stairs upside down here and then facing the front like that. Do the same thing on the other side. Kind of like a lightning bolt shape. And it's going to be a smooth quartz slab top of this. And upside down stairs like that. Decide to do the same thing. Slab here, upside down stairs. And then there's going to be a slab and then upside down stairs. So go back here, slab, upside down stairs. And then after that, there's going to be another slab here and then another slab up here. Slab, slab, and the next uh, upside down stairs and then slab. So upside down stairs and then slab. All right, all right, next we'll add in uh, blue concrete and we're just gonna make it go line up with almost all the way to this part. So just a gap in between there. The other side do the same thing. Just uh, have a gap right in the front. All right, next up, let's add in uh, two blue concretes here. One here at the bottom, another one indent here. Then two indents, and then make an L shape like that. And then this part is three blocks wide. And then add in pillar here, and we need to add in two blocks here. And I guess we fill in behind this. Yeah, behind this block. I wonder if I did on this side. Um, let me go check. Yeah, add in blue concrete right there. All right, and then this side, there's going to be three blocks, blue concrete here, and then two by two here, and then fill in the rest towards the back area, okay. And then this part, there is, okay, I, we just fill this part in like that. And uh, there's gonna be this deep slate tile slab. That's gonna be right here. And did I do something wrong here? Okay, so this part actually, goes inwards on that side. So yeah, I think we'll have to do it like that. We'll have to make, move that smooth quartz slab inside like that. Then I add our deep slate tile slab on the outside. All right, then we'll add in three blocks wide of red carpet on top. Other side, do the same thing. And then add our, our deep slate tile slab. I, two blocks like that. And then um, white carpets on top, two blocks wide. All right, so then next up, we'll add a polished deep slate and make it two by two here, just like that. And over here, we need our Amtrak logo. So uh, we need to grab a smooth quartz stairs, add in two L's here, move quartz slab at the bottom, Move quartz slab inside here and then polish black stone stairs upside down like that. All right, then the other side, there is going to be um, upside down polish black stone stairs there and then smooth quartz slab at the bottom here. Another slab here in the middle. And it's going to be stairs, that's going to be two backwards L's. That blue concrete here and also behind it that area. 
And the rest on top, yeah, we just fill that in blue concrete. All the way like that. And then next up, we'll add a white carpet, blue carpet. So first off, white carpet is going to be two in here. Looks like I already put that two for some reason. And then we'll add another two here at the back. So that's going to actually be on top of this lapazuli in the stairs. Other side, same thing. And then blue carpet, we want this all above these warped stairs because that looks weird. This side too. Apparently I need to do this section. I guess we'll get to that later. And then this part here is just three blocks wide. Same thing up here, three blocks wide. All right, so on this side, let's see what we did here. This is going to be polish deep slate slab, just uh, two slabs like that. Lapis is lead behind it. And then we'll add in two blocks wide, lapisuli here. And then smooth quartz stairs. So it's going to be a backwards L and upside down L. That. All right, and then there's going to be an additional polished deep slate slab right next to this vent here. And then the rest is going to be lapisuli across and inside both of that area. To fill in the rest across just like this. All right. And then we can add in our blue carpet here, and another one there, and it's also going to be this black carpet two blocks wide there. All right, then on the edge, there's going to be this warped uh, fence gate two blocks tall, open them both up. Just like that. Other side, same thing. And then inside here, there's going to be polished black stone brick blocks. Just make a two by three here. Then there's going to be this gray concrete on the outside and then deep slate brick stairs. And the other side could do the same thing. So gray concrete, deep slate brick stairs. Then there's going to be uh, deep slate brick stairs here in the middle, upside down. And then another one on the edge on this side. And the other side, I just gotta confirm if, okay, that other side's different, so let's not do that. Uh, so next we'll add a nether brick fence on either side of this. And I guess we'll leave that alone for now because I think we should do the front area. So over here in the front, we'll add a deep slate brick slab, just three blocks wide here. And then inside is gonna be this uh, dark oak uh, fence gate and we want that in the middle here and we want to open it up towards the front and add another one to the sides of it just like that all right next up it's going to be a uh, red i mean this mangrove slash in the front of this and the back of this in the front of the back and this is going to be a deep slate brick stairs here another brick fence on either side of that now we need to add in the wheel. So it's going to be a uh, hopper, polished tough, polished blackstone brick block and stairs. And um, I guess a dark oak stairs. So let's go over here, skip a block, add in our polished tough dark oak stairs. And then I guess skip two blocks, polish tough, dark oak stairs, hoppers on the sides of the wheels. And it's going to be polish blackstone brick block here, and then stairs in the front. Then over here, same thing. So block here and the stairs. And we'll need to make the wheels again on the side. Stairs. Up or sides of the wheels like that. And then inside there's going to be this deep slate brick slab. So three blocks wide there and three blocks wide there. Other side, same thing. All right, then we'll add in um, to the back. We'll make that wheel as well. So I guess go right over here. Lines up with that stairs. Add in our polished tough. Dark oak stairs. And skip to do the same thing over here, just the other way around. Hoppers. 
And then the other side, let's do that again. No. And hoppers. And then our deep slate brick slab in the middle part. Go across. Just like this. Oh yeah, we also need our polished blocks and brick block and stairs. Block and stairs. Very nice. Then we'll add in our um, dark oak trapdoor and dark oak fence gate. So dark oak trapdoors first on the edges of the wheels, which is, you know, the first time I think I'm doing this. Kind of make an outline of the wheel, the rims. And then middle, dark oak fence gate and dark oak fence on the edges. Open the edges one up like that. Then the other side, add in our dark oak trapdoors. Dark oak fence gates and do the same thing again where we open up the exterior ones. Just like that. Make sure I'm doing this correctly. Then we'll go on the other side. I think I pretty much do the same thing so, you know, just repeat it again. And then in the front part. This part, this part is actually kind of tricky because there's like barely any room. I'm going to place the stairs like that. Okay, a fence gate, I mean. I think that fits. And then our dark oak trap doors here. Close that up. And we need our dark oak fence gate. Open that up. Dark oak fence gate, open that up. All right. Next up, let's grab... Um, Spruce, I mean a dark oak fence, polished blackstone brick blocks, uh, deep slate brick walls, and stairs. So the way I designed this is I added polished blackstone bricks uh, here in the middle, three like this, and a dark oak fence right there in the middle. All right, other side, same thing, dark oak fence. Then I added our deep slate brick wall. You know, right above the wheels, just two blocks wide, two blocks wide like this. Do it around like that. And we could do the same thing on the other wheel. You know, I guess three blocks wide. Dark oak fence. And now we need our walls like this. Get our walls done, dark oak fence. Then next we'll add a gray concrete inside here, between, just like that. And then there's gonna be our deep slate brick stairs, just three blocks wide, right in this intersection. Okay, we'll go back to this side, add in our uh, gray concrete here. And we need our Deep slate brick stairs, three blocks wide. Now it is optional if you want to add in polished blackstone brick blocks just to cover up these walls because you know you can see the inside. So I guess we could just fill that in right now. The other side, just cover up the roof. You don't want that hole. Okay, once that's done, we're gonna take out um, mangrove slab. So go right over here, two mangrove slabs. Then we'll add in deep slate brick stairs, just upside down, face the front. Two mangrove slabs, and then deep slate uh, brick stairs like that. Okay. Now the other side, we're gonna add in two deep slate brick stairs like this, and then mango slabs cross for the rest of that cross like that then there's going to be on this side there's two mangrove slabs over here then deep slate brick slab there and then there's going to be another one just gap space between just like that the mango slab like that and then two mango slabs and go on this side I do a similar thing. The two mango slabs and this one's actually gonna be three like that. Well, let me make sure this, one, this one's three as well. Okay, it is three and then skip one, add one here. Outside, do the same thing. 
And then next up, we'll add in our um, deep slate brick wall, just three blocks wide here. And after that, it's going to be a red concrete um, on the outside part. The inside part, let's see, I think it's just, okay. So the inside part is just, uh, we're going to add a gray concrete like that. All right, then we'll take out a uh, deep slate brick um, slab, just add one here, three blocks wide at the bottom. And then we'll add in red, and then we'll add in a deep slate brick slab, make a U shape like that. And then there's gonna be red concrete, like this. And then make another U, but it's wider, deep slate brick slabs. And then we want to add in the front part, it's gonna be a red concrete, two here there and then polish and a side slab just make it two blocks wide and then two by three here at the bottom and next up we're going to extend this um section that we just made and we want to go to the front to fill in the gaps i don't know how many blocks is that five or something six um just like that and oh, I made a mistake here. This uh, polished inside should be a, like a slab down like that. The bottom. Okay, that's how I did it right. All right, next we'll add a deep slate brick slab here. And then we'll add a um, spruce trap door right here. And then in the back, we'll add in a oak bun here and stone bun on the other side. We'll also add in a chain right behind this trap door, just like that. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the Zemans ACL42 in Minecraft. Thanks again to Trainmaster3985 for commissioning this build. Finally, we have one of the, you know, modern day Amtrak locomotives. If you guys like the video, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you had already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.